Good evening, everyone. Uh, I am Dinesh Manir. Uh, many of you may not know my photographs. I capture a lot of uh, landscape uh, as well as culture. This uh, particular project, it is, it is a, a very unique project. Um, before explaining this project, I have to explain how, you, how I arrived here. I started around uh, uh, my photography journey, started around 2010, and I was already 30. So I had to go through all those uh, little phases, like you know, you shoot butterflies, flowers, and then you slowly uh, start shooting the evenings, like uh, sunsets, sunrises. So I had to go through all those phases and then I've slowly started shooting landscapes. So in those ages, landscapes, what I actually thought is, it's just sunrises. You know, I used to get early in the morning, like 4 o'clock, and then just look at the sky. OK, it's, it's clear. Let's go and then just shoot sunrise, go to a nearby lake uh, in Bangalore, shoot a couple of sunrises, some colorful, you know, uh, beautiful shots, and then come back. And then try again in the evenings, uh, maybe in the weekends or somewhere. So that, that is the uh, idea I had about landscape, uh, landscape photography. Not until when I shot this one. So th this, this is, uh, I, I shot it in uh, 2010 only, and it is a clean reflection in a rainy uh, season. And that was my description for uh, National Geographic Daily Dozen um, uh, upload. You know, you, they have a nice uh, way of selecting the uh, people's or you know, the viewers' uh, photographs. So I, I uploaded with a description like that. You know, clean reflection in a rainy season. But unfortunately, it got selected in uh, National Geographic Your Earth Photos. And the description was edited by the editor himself. He said it is, I, I, I'm not going to in, into the too much details of the uh, description, but he focused on the soil erosion happening in Western Ghats. So I was just stunned. You know, I did not know a landscape photograph can also tell story. It was 2010, okay, I'm not talking about now. Now everybody knows because everybody knows the quotes and all big uh, uh, descriptions going all over the internet. So that is the time when I realized a landscape photograph can carry a story. Then I started shooting all those landscape pho photographs with story. And, uh, my my uh, effort was to include some story in the landscape photographs. I started with good, and then excellent, and then mind-blowing, right? Let's go through some of the photos. So this is my little collection of uh, last four years. I've shot many, only I included few, which I like most. But the problem with these uh, photographs are they're all about colors, locations. 
they did not really connect to me at all. I was I, also I followed a lot of uh, uh, these websites like 500 Pics and um, Art uh, Photo Net dot com and whatever it is. So I followed all the, all of them and. I always used to see those stunning, mind-blowing, jaw-dropping, you know, right? These, these are the comments you get, right? So those photos, I, I always saw, and they all just came through my eyes, and then just I said, whoa, and then that's it. They did not go till my heart. So they never touched my heart. They, they did not connect. So my idea was I was in already search of a photograph that touches my heart directly. Then I shot this one. I shot this one in 2013. It is plain reflection in a black and white shot. Nothing very uh, unusual. But whenever I look at this photograph, because of the trees and then all those roots and all, I used to get some kind of feeling. I always thought, that is something special. Then I did a small project. It's called meditation. You can still see on my website. So this project was, uh, uh, I, I gave my couple of uh, black and white photographs to uh, writers, uh, I mean, my friends, who, are, uh, who used to write. And I wanted them to just write down whatever they feel when they look the photograph. So uh, I, maybe uh, three or four photographs are done. And then um, the fifth, I gave this one to uh, my very good friend, who is a very good writer also in Canada. And he exactly interpreted what I felt when I look into the photo. So that was the moment when I realized, OK, let's go to the next level. All those colorful, stunning, jaw-dropping, OK, fine. You know, let's keep clicking that also whenever uh, the scene is in front of you. But let's go a little bit deeper. Let's shoot something that connects me. So that is the time I realized, let's go to the next level. So, that is when this series started, Portraits of Mother. Portraits are just a visual representation of uh, a personality. And here, it's nothing but the nature, mother. She is the mother. So it, it's very predictable. I mean, uh, there is nothing uh, very high fund in this uh, name. And what I am trying to do here is find some expressions that touches me in the nature, inside the nature. It could be landscapes or just a plain river or whatever it is. So I'm going to uh, show you a small video, which is a total highlight. It comes with a sound, which is a total highlight of what I shot till now. Then I'll, I'll again uh, talk a few words after the uh, video.